In this video, we look at a question in which we will use a method of homogeneity to find the value of some unknown in, that, in an equation. So let's look at the question. The frequency f of oscillation of a small drop of liquid of radius r, surface tension gamma, density rho is given by f equals k gamma to the power of x, r to the y, rho to the z, where k is a dimensionless constant. Determine the values of x, y, and z. Now, we will approach this question, of course, on the basis that the equation is homogeneous. And if the equation is homogeneous, it means that the base units are identical on either side. And if for a particular variable, um, on, for a particular variable, the power on either side, of course, must be equivalent. What exactly does that mean? If, for instance, there is meter on the left-hand side, raised to the power of, say, x, and there is meter squared on the right-hand side, then because the equation is homogeneous, the powers must be identical or must be equal, and therefore this would mean that x is equal to 2. Right? So, we'll proceed. So, we write down the equation, of course. We have f equals k gamma to the x, r to the y, and rho to the z. Now, we're told that k is a dimensionless constant, which, of course, means that it has no units. And in checking or um, analyzing the base units of either side, we'll simply ignore k. So let's look at the base unit of f. The base unit of f, which represents frequency, or the SI unit of frequency, is the hertz, which of course is equivalent to the per second. So the hertz is equivalent to the per second, right? Now, gamma, which represents um, viscosity, the base unit of viscosity. So let's examine the term on the right, we have gamma to the x times r to the y times rho to the power of z. Now, gamma represents viscosity, viscosity? No, surface tension, surface tension. So, gamma represents surface tension, the base units of which are the kilogram or is the kilogram per meter per second. So, the base unit of surface tension is a kilogram per meter per second. And this, of course, is raised to the power of x, so we must do that. So that is raised to the power of x. Now, that is multiplied by r to the power of y. And we know the unit of radius is the meter. So this is times m to the power of y. And then density is raised to the power of z. Now, the SI unit of density is the kilogram per meter cubed. And therefore, we must raise kilogram per meter cubed to the power of z. So what we must do now is to expand those brackets and to combine the like terms. So kilogram to the power of x, that gives us kg to the power of x, meter to the minus one to the power of x, that gives us meter to the minus x, and per second to the power of x gives us second to the power of minus x. And of course, we put back our meter to the y, and then here, we simplify the terms in this bracket as well. So kilogram to the power of z, that becomes kg to the z. We have per meter cube being raised to the power of z. So we multiply the powers. So we get meter to the minus 3z. Right? Now, having expressed um, each variable on the right in terms of its base unit and raised each the respective powers of x, y, and z, we will then identify the like terms and combine them. So, we notice that in the first part, there's a kilogram to the x, and there is a kilogram to the power of z. And these, of course, are all being multiplied, which means that we will keep our base, in this case, a kilo kg, and we'll add the powers x plus z. So, this gives us kg to the power of x plus z. Then we examine the meter. We have meter to the power of minus x, times meter to the y, times meter to the minus 3z. And again, we will add those powers. So we get m 
to the minus x plus y minus 3z. And lastly, we have the second s, which, for which there is only one. So that we put back s to the minus x. So this is s to the minus x, right? So now that we've expressed the right hand side in terms of its base units, we've carried out the expansion and we've basically combined the terms. We will then say that if the equation is homogeneous, then each variable or the, the power of each variable on either side must be the same. Right? So we say if, or we say since or here, if the equation is homogeneous, the power of each base unit on either side. must be equal right so what we will then do is to basically equate the base units on the left to the base units of the right we will then of course equate the powers of the um, like base units and we'll solve for the unknowns So on the left hand side of the equation, we had only one, um, well, one variable, which is s. So since we're going to be equating them, what we will do is we'll introduce the kilogram as well as the meter. But of course, we'll introduce those raised to the power of zero. So therefore, what we have now is this. We have kilogram or kg to the power of zero times meter to the power of zero, s to the power of minus one, and this is equivalent to kg to the power of x plus z, meter to the power of minus x plus y minus three z times second to the power of minus x, right? So having expressed each side in terms of the respective base units raised to a single power, we can then equate them and solve for the unknowns, right? So therefore equating the powers of, let's start with S. So we start with S. Now on the left hand side, S is raised to the power of minus one, on the right, it is raised to the power of minus x. So therefore, this means that minus 1 equals minus x, which therefore means that x is equal to 1. So by doing that, we have now found the value of x. We then look to see which of them is the next simpler in the lineup that appears to kg. Since we found the value of x, there is only one unknown here now, which is z. And we will then equate them and solve for the value of z. So for kg, on the left, the power is zero because remember there was no kilogram on the left hand side. So therefore we have zero equals x plus z. But of course, x is equal to one. So zero is equal to one plus z, which therefore means that z is equal to minus one. Then lastly, we'll do the same now for the meter. So for the meter, the power on the left hand side is zero. Whereas the power on the right is minus x plus y minus 3z. Minus 3z. But of course, we've um, already found the values of x and z. So we then substitute them and solve for y. So we have 0 equals minus 1 plus y minus 3 times minus 1. So we get 0 equals minus 1 plus y plus 3. So from there we have 0 is equal to minus 1 plus 3, that is 2. So 0 is equal to y 
plus 2. And therefore, this means that y is equal to minus 2. So there we have it. We found the unknowns or the previous unknowns x, y, and z by simply um, assuming the equation was homogeneous, expressing each variable in terms of its base units, arranging the base units to give a single power, and then equating the powers of each base unit on either side, and then solving for the unknowns. So we found the value of x to be equal to 1, the value of z to be equal to minus 1, and therefore the value of y is equal to minus 2. And that therefore means that the equation looks something like this. F is equal to the dimensionless constant k, gamma to the power of 1. We don't need to put the 1 there. Then we have r to the power of minus 2. And then rho to the power of minus 1. So that essentially is, is, is a form of the equation. But of course, this method of homogeneity clearly does not allow us to find the value of the dimensionless constant that would simply have to be known.